I mean, I was struck, Ron, by this line. Why don't you demand it? Will you demand it? She says, well, they're not mine. <laughs> they belong to the State Department. Now, wait a second. They were hers. 55,000 pages were turned over to the State Department. The ones that we don't know about were erased. No, I, I literally spit my coffee on my laptop when she said that. Literally spit trick. It's, it just, it's, it's inconceivable. It's laughable. She, she treated them like they were her own emails. She kept them in her basement in a server that violated White House policy and then only handed over the ones to, to her State Department that she wanted us to see. She cherry-picked them. And now I'm pretending that she can't, she's got copies of her Zoom. She could have brought them to the, to the news conference. So that was totally unbelievable. It was totally unbelievable when she says that there's no conflict of interest between you know, her, her doing speeches for folks who are doing business with, with government. Well, of course that's a conflict of interest. Um, she also said that um, she wants the emails out. Well, I, I can't believe that because, again, if she wanted the emails out, she would have given to us at the news conference. So it's this whole trust and credibility um, issue that is just, it's, it, it's, it's uh, becoming an anvil on her campaign. Well, 